Six-one. Six-time Wimbledon doubles team, champion team, and of course Todd went on to win three more, so that's why I call him nine times. Well, I think well they're both great players for a start. I mean, we often talk about them as doubles players, but you got to look at their singles records. They were great players, great competitors. Mark was a rock. He played very close to his best day in day out, and Todd was a type of player that could catch fire and win a match for you in 15 or 20 minutes. On the court and off the court, extremely uh, different personalities and people but but they had a, a, a way to complement each other on the court. Mark was the older one, had a little bit more experience than Todd and Todd was always such a great doubles player when he played. Mark was sort of the perfect guy for him to go and play with. Seeing them win that Davis Cup doubles on play in Spain in 99 which uh, gave us a 2-1 lead and then Philip Pusis won the reverse singles to give us a 3-1. On play and away, the first time we ever won a Davis Cup final. The, the, the Woodies are a, a great team. Team players are a great playing Davis Cup with them. Uh, you knew you were, they were always going to put in 100%. The Davis Cup was all about uh, doing your best for Australia and, um, and, and they were some of the best at it. Uh, I played Davis Cup in Adelaide against the Germans. I played with Mark Woodford there. Uh, he was sensational. Uh, he, he's, he compliments my game probably a little better than Todd did. Uh, Todd and I were both first court players. Uh, and Todd and I actually played a tournament together in, uh, over in America one time and we got beaten very easily. And I put that down to Todd, obviously. I think both the Woodies um, probably portrayed it in different ways, but they both really detested to lose. And I think that's the mark of a, a terrific player also. when. Uh, when you do everything in your power and you cross every T and you dot every I uh, to avoid losing. I just think they worked perfectly together. They had a great coach that worked with them throughout a lot of their success in Ray Ruffles and he was a common denominator for the both of them for a long time. And, you know, success started pretty early with them and I think that they just realised that they had a great thing to go going and why not continue it and then you know success was just inevitable with the two of them. Both very ambitious uh, people and they had plenty of desire and I guess they did all the right things. They hired Mark Waters as a fitness trainer and he certainly gave them a few extra years. I think they did all the right things, very professional and certainly deserved all the success they've got but I think you know the point is we keep talking about them as a doubles team but they were pretty good singles players too. Actually you know what they had a really good singles career I thought. Um, I think they, they actually did very very well uh, and, and, uh, and and very very crafty players. Uh, they probably got a little bit overpowered in singles, a bit more. But the doubles, uh, you can never find a weakness in them. Each was a semi-finalist at, at, uh, at one of the Grand Slams, so uh, great careers, and we're very pleased to be inducting them into the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame. Well, two very young Hall of Fame entries, and deservedly so, I think. Um, and I, I harp back on their Davis Cup record, but for me, that was just uh, outstanding, you know, and. Um, uh, I think they take their deserved place and um, yeah, I'd like to congratulate them both personally. I think they've been uh, wonderful ambassadors for our sport. I hope they continue to be so. Oh, the Woody's career was actually amazing. Uh, they, they, they came at a time when, when tennis was becoming stronger and stronger. I think tennis gets stronger every year. And the Woody's uh, were able to uh, continually win over such a long period of time and to win that many Grand Slam titles and win that many tournaments. To me, they are the greatest doubles team of all time.